Hi there everybody, Dave here from Hey You Guys and today we are doing a special mouth off because of the big news that uh, Phil Lord and Chris Miller have been fired or let go or part ways with the production on the Han Solo movie. It's big news, uh, it's quite strange news. Uh, I am joined by uh, John of the Lias who is a major Star Wars fan. John. Hello bonjour everyone. And the awesome Scott J Davis. Hello everyone. Uh, and we will just be dis discussing our thoughts on it um, and also there's potential rumours of who else may direct. But John do you want to just um, expand a bit on what's happened and what we know so far? Well this kind of came out of nowhere. The production has been, uh, uh, the production of the as yet untitled Han Solo film has been uh, in the works for um, a good year with actual production being on since I think the start of the uh, since the start of the I think the end of January they announced the um, the working title was Red Cup and they were they seemed to be a really good fit for it because when the Star Wars um, uh, story team said right we're going to do a Han Solo film not many people were that really interested in it until. Um, until Lord and Miller came on board because they've had such good success in turning what may be quite ropey concepts into something amazing. Think of 21 Jump Street, think of Cloudy, The Chance of Meatballs, and then, of course, with, you know, the Lego movie. So they've got a really good, um, uh, you know, pedigree. So then they started announcing casting and uh, the script was by Lawrence Caston, and everything seemed to be going really well. Now, behind the scenes, what has been reported today is that there were massive creative differences um, between Kathleen Kennedy and, and Lucasfilm and Lord and Miller. They're talking about the fact they weren't allowed the proper leeway that they would normally have expected um, on such a, on such a big film. And it's, it's, it's an enormous shame. It's a, it's really bad timing because they've still got about three weeks left to shoot. So I have no idea. Oh, that all? It's, so it's, so we're, we're in the coming, like the closing stages of filming as well, right? Pretty much. Yeah. So of course, you know, they, they would have been on board for, they would have been on board for a long, long time, and um, clearly they were handpicked, a bit like Ryan Johnson and a bit like uh, Gareth Edwards. Um, but what we're seeing now is we're seeing, um, you know, echoes of the Josh Trank Star Wars spin-off film, which of course was, I mean, it was rumored to be Boba Fett, which would have been fine. It may even have been, you know, the Han Solo film because that, because nothing about the film was released when when he was suddenly left out of the Star Wars celebration uh, roster. So, so this is huge news and very disappointing news. I think the only reason that a lot of people were kind of begrudgingly coming round to the, to, to the notion of a Han Solo film was that you were going to have people like Lord and Miller taking this, you know, this fairly simple concept, which could have gone horribly wrong, um, and turn it into something, turn it into something fun. What is far less clear is what's going to happen now because they need to have a, a director to finish the shoot and they need to be able to have someone who can come in, pick up the pieces and you would imagine just bring it home as opposed to stamping, you know, some sort of new, you know, director's vision on it. It's going to be a really tough one for them. It's really strange. And Scott, I think you've got in front of you the official um, press release that Disney <clears throat> or Lucasfilm put out last night. Do you want to just pick out the highlights and what, what the sort of official line is? Yeah, well, <clears throat> uh, Kathleen Kennedy, as John said, uh, obviously is heavily involved she's the president of lucasfilm she said that uh they've there's an incredible cast and crew but it's become clear that they had we had different creative visions on the film and have decided to part ways um so that's her point of view uh chris law uh, chris miller and phil lord have said that um they've used the word creative differences which is very cliche they say but that's uh what's what's happened um and that their vision and the processes weren't aligned with with Lucasfilm, with Disney and whatever. Um, and it's just that they've been very proud and worked with some amazing people. So it's, I don't know, I'm trying to rack my brain as to when, I mean, there's there's various times when creative differences come in, but you very rarely hear them during a shoot these days. You know, you usually hear them beforehand. You know, if you look at Edgar Wright with Ant-Man or all the directors on The Flash or, you know, everything else that's kind of come and gone in the in the years in the years past. But to have it, not just in the middle of shooting, but towards the end of a shoot, um, is is very very strange and very um, very weird timing um, from my point of view. In terms of just in terms of like getting a new director to to shoot, as John said, three weeks worth of work, and surely that three weeks would be Lord and Miller's design script, etc., etc., etc. So are they pulling the plug to to kind of re reshoot and rescript these last three weeks? Are they going to go back to square one completely? Uh, it's kind of a strange precedent, isn't it? 
be it's, really interesting to see what happens now because they 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 can't just say because it's, it's due out in, in yeah yeah less than a year so unless they push it back to december which is what everyone was thinking that they were going to do but to ha- do to have someone um to have a film sorry that is that is three weeks you know away from finishing they've been all over the world they filmed a load of stuff it would seem very foolish to just say right we're gonna you know go completely and say right we're gonna we 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 have to start from 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 square one again that would mean recasting everyone i can't imagine that mm-hmm. donald glover and woody harrison and Emilia clark and so on uh, are just gonna say yeah don't worry about it do whenever and i'll just turn <laughs> up it's, it's it's not gonna happen so they're talking about some like rod howard coming in I'd personally love to see Spielberg come in or yeah. George Lucas to yeah. just turn up in a cape and say, <laughs> I'm back, like that. And then him, you know, to sort of bring it home because you think about, you know, the, 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 the past between, um, you know, Kasdan and, uh, and Lucas and, and Spielberg. But that's not going to happen because that's going to be seen as some sort of stunt casting or, you know, stunt my, my, hiring. My pick is JJ because just because of he, he knows the – he's a producer anyway. He's already in there with – uh, Lucasfilm. He knows it inside out. He's part of the story. He is an amazing director, and he could probably pick up from wherever anybody left off. Just especially with such little time left to uh, to have to go. He, yeah, I mean, he may well do that. Of course, you have someone like Joss Whedon, who's taken over, very unfortunately, from 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 Zack Snyder on on Justice League. He would have been quite a good, you know, fit as well. But to be honest with you, this isn't the chance for someone to come in and sort of say, right, we're going to get rid of all that. We're going to make it a musical or something like that. That would be, although that would be quite cool. Um, but it's 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 going to be a case of right. How do we get? How do we pick up the pieces and and just finish? You know this this last three weeks. What on earth happened on set in the, over the last week? To to because creative differences are often very good for a for a production um, in terms of you know really working out what works well if, if you're serving the story. Which you can imagine, you know, Lucasfilm as we've seen with Rogue One and with you know the Force Awakens. They're all about. Man- making it as accessible as possible, making it as, as you know, fast paced as possible, uh, you know, and keeping this nostalgic thread to the previous films. They're all about making the best film that they can. Lord and Miller are exactly the same. So what on earth happened in the last in the last couple of weeks that made it, you know, so that they just literally couldn't even finish the last, you, you know, three weeks this, of shooting? Um, do you think this has been, because these sort of problems are, you know, they've announced it today, but it's quite possible it's been months that this has been, you know, and they may even already have someone else in there sorting it out um, as we speak. So we're all... But they've been shooting, they've been on set, you know, we, we've right. seen, you know, um, it's it, it's not like, they, you know, stuff hasn't been done. Yeah. Bear in mind, that could have been like a second unit, just, you know, getting, you know, stuff filmed, but... It, it seems really unlikely that you'd have someone working on this for over a year and for creative differences to, to you know, to suddenly not work. I've never been a film, so I don't know, but um, it's it's a real problem because when I saw the news this morning, I was I was shocked. You thought, you know, Rogue One was such a good, you know, first Star Wars spin-off. They had the unfortunate, you know, incident with Josh Trank and, and that, so it was kind of sullied. With this, it's really thrown the whole the whole you know star wars spin-off universe into uh, you know for a bit of a spin so um i don't know I'd, I'd be interested i'd be interested to know what you know who people want to see in the director's chair for this one bear in mind that it's not going to be you know david lynch or something like that be, <laughs> although i would definitely You'd watch see that, that. <laughs> him him not returning <laughs> return of the him, him not directing return of the jedi was a was a, was a real mistake i would love to have seen that but floating ewoks talking backwards and stuff man that would be cool um but yeah, the, this, this is a real shock. But they're going to have to work it out. They're going to have to say, um, "We need someone to come in very, very, you know, quickly and just finish this." But it's going to taint, you know, the production, and it's going to make us all a bit wary. It may become one of the greatest films that was never made. You know, if, if production was pulled or something like that, which seems like an enormous waste. But I don't know. Interesting times. Strange. Yeah, it's so a strange. Nice. It's cool. a strange thing. I think John's John's right in the sense that. It needs a and a kind of a, a very experienced director if they just want someone to finish it. Someone like a Ron Howard or even J.J. Abrams just to just to come in and say, right, this is this is your list. This is what we need to do to get it done. Here's your changes. Go and do it, knowing that they'd probably go and go and do it. Same with Spielberg. I mean, obviously George Lucas as well. But I hope they don't go down that route. But yeah, someone like J.J. Abrams, you can imagine they might give him a call and say, look, I need you for three weeks just to finish, and then. But then again, any new director surely is going to have to edit the film as well. So, well, yeah, uh, I mean, but I mean, honestly, and, I, mean, I can imagine that Lucasfilm will probably they'll have, could probably they'll have some what know, they want to do. The, you know, yeah, so. the editors will be all over it, and and a lot of them will edit as they go along anyway. So at least they know the story as they're doing it. I think. 
Yeah. What about as a director coming in, Lawrence Kasdan? He's the person who knows the character best. He's directed some decent films mm-hmm. in the past. Yeah, yeah. When, would, Why would not? Certainly make 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 sense. The other, the other strange thing is all the cast. I know they signed on because it's Star Wars, but they did uh, probably a lot of them signed on because of Lord and Miller and their vision and everything else. Yeah. So it'll be strange you, for. Nah, them they signed on because it's got Star Wars in the title and because they said we'll pay you an obscene amount of money. <laughs> Yeah, but for for the whole of production, they they would have been under the under the um you yeah, know yeah. Um, under oh, the yeah, hand no, don't of Lord Miller. I'm sure now that they're sort of that they they you know have built rapports with the directors and and all that. That, that I'm sure it will be like you, you know at school if uh, say I don't know a teacher suddenly didn't turn up for school one day and then rumours start going around that they got fired or something and then and and <laughs> and, and you'd all and and the people the, t- the people that like that teacher might be really gutted and you know and, and feel really sad and then and the others that don't you know they'd be like whoa. Oh, yeah, he's gone. Um, I, I, it's probably like that. I bet some people are absolutely gutted, and there'll be rumours flying around all over the place on set, and and other people probably are very pleased. You know, I think Lord and Miller are very good with their actors, and I mean, again, you can, you know, once this news broke, rumours, you know, and people close to the production start talking about all kinds of all kinds of nonsense, but um, there was definitely something um, hinted at um, in the statement from Kathleen Kennedy that. Uh, and, with, and with Lord and Miller, that they weren't given their way. So that's what we think about Star Wars uh, and the Han Solo movie. Obviously, everything's a bit unclear at the moment, and no doubt over time things will start to come out a bit more um, when we interview any of the people that you can see in that photo there. But do let us know what you feel. Do you, Are you gutted the fact that Lord and Miller are out? And who do you think may take over? Could it be Ron Howard? Could it be J.J. Abrams? Or maybe even Steven Spielberg? Do let us know in the comments below. And uh, as always, you can follow us on our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and uh, whatever the other one I haven't said is, YouTube. And uh, we'll see you next time on The Mouth Off. Take care. Bye. Au revoir. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice.